Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is a BTEC Applied Science Unit 1 and it's learning aim A1 chemistry and we're going to look at dot and cross diagrams for covalent molecules. We're not going to include data covalent molecules here, you'll find that in my next video. Now if you don't already subscribe, why not make sure you do. Your support is very much appreciated so please make sure you use the comments and the like feature. Right, we do need a little bit of prior knowledge here. So if you haven't seen the previous video on covalent bonding, I suggest you go and watch that first. You will find a link in the description below. So we're not going to see any metals involved in covalent bonding. All of our atoms are going to be non-metals and it will always result in the outer shell being full. So once bonding has taken place, that outer shell must be full. That's a key point. When non-metal atoms are held together by covalent bonds, we call them molecules. And these molecules can be classed as simple molecules, which is all we need to look at in this unit, or they can be giant macromolecules, and there'll be more of this in future videos. This is the key point then. So we must always end up with full outer shells. Let's have a look at a chlorine molecule, Cl2. This means there are two chlorine atoms. So we're going to draw the two chlorine atoms then. So chlorine is in group seven, electron configuration 287. And there we go there. And now because there are two chlorine atoms, I'm going to draw a second chlorine atom. Now what's going to happen here is they have seven electrons. They are both one electron short of a full outer shell. So it will form one covalent bond. So there we have here, the chlorine on the right had its original seven electrons. But because it's sharing, it's effectively gained an electron from the one on the left. So it's now got eight outer electrons. And if we look at the chlorine on the left, there's its original seven plus the extra one that it's now sharing. That also has eight outer electrons and the full shell. So a chlorine molecule, Cl2. So what we're going to do here is just put crosses on one and dots on the other just to make it obvious where the electrons have come from. So you can see that pair in the middle, one dot and one cross. That's a chlorine molecule. Let's look at a slightly more complicated one, a CH4. One carbon and four hydrogens. Carbon is in group four. We have the electron configuration here, two and four. There we go. Hydrogen only has one electron. So if we draw four hydrogen atoms to speed things up this time, I'm drawing dots on my carbon and crosses on my hydrogens. I could do this either way around. It doesn't matter as long as I stick to dots on one and crosses on the other. Now carbon has four electrons in the outer shell. It's four electrons short of a full outer shell, so it will form four bonds. Hydrogen, because it's only the first shell, is only one electron short. So the hydrogen will form one covalent bond and the carbon will form four. So there's four covalent bonds between carbon and hydrogen here. And just to kind of smarten it and tidy up, I'm gonna remove that inner shell. And that's now my dot and cross diagram for a methane molecule. Next up then, let's have a look at an oxygen molecule, an O2 molecule that contains two oxygen atoms. Oxygen is 2, 6. So I need to draw two oxygen atoms. Here's our second one now. Now it's in group 6, which means it's two electrons short of a full outer shell, which means it will form two covalent bonds. Now there's only two atoms here, so to form two covalent bonds, it actually is a double bond here. So there's two pairs of electrons being shared. So there's two dots and two crosses in the middle there. So that's a double covalent bond. We'll also see triple covalent bonds in some cases. So we do get multiple covalent bonds. So here's some for you to have a go at. What I suggest you do is pause the video and you attempt to draw these dot and cross diagrams and when you're ready to see the answers, you can unpause. Okay, so a hydrogen molecule then, H2, bromine, water, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Notice how the carbon dioxide had two double covalent bonds and the nitrogen there, we see a triple covalent bond. To summarize then, Determine the number of covalent bonds that each atom's going to form. We can just use the group number 
and do 8 minus the group number. For example, something in group 7, 8 minus 7 is 1, that will form one covalent bond. Something in group 5, 8 minus 5 is 3, it will form three covalent bonds. This makes you aware of how many electrons are being shared. So if it forms three bonds, it has to share three pairs. If it forms two bonds, it has to form or share two pairs. And then once we draw these dot and cross diagrams, ensure that we have a full outer shell, and we ensure that we've drawn dots on one atom and crosses on the other ones. And that allows us to track where those electrons originated from. So that's it for this video then. Please make sure you check out the next video, which looks at dative covalent bonding, and it looks at dot and cross diagrams. You will find a link in the description below. Thank you.